Hey guys, what's up? Xbox Kid here. Now, a lot of times you guys ask me how I make my music videos, like this one right here. I was Well, today I'm finally going to be giving you a tutorial on that and giving you a preview on my next video. This one will of course be out first, but this new video should be out within a week. So, basically, here's the new video here. Pain without love, pain, I can't get enough. Right, so what you're seeing there is a Fear 3 music video, but let me show you how I do this generally. So let's open up a new project. And uh, let's import my stuff first. Now, what I normally do when I make a music video is first off, I grab my watermark, which I have made in Photoshop. Actually, my friend made it first in After Effects, then I edited it so I could place it anywhere. All right, so you can't see anything right now, and that's because the thing is black. So normally what I do is I add some brightness and contrast and full brightness. Then I pan it and I crop it to put it where I want in the video. So I'm just gonna do that. I set maintain aspect ratio to off. And I pop it down right there. Then I get my opening, which I made in Adobe After Effects. So Game Freak's title is my fine. So move the watermark off a little bit. I generally don't show it in the opening. And there you can see my opening. Now what I do with the watermark is I generally extend it to about mm, three minutes or so. That. Then I import some media of the game I'm doing. There we go. Now these are mp4s that I've downloaded off YouTube because I need them without watermarks because that just looks stupid to have a GT watermark or something in there I generally delete the audio from the track and there you can see your, your 3 next I import a song that I want so for this one it's Pain by 3 Days Grace the song you pick has to fit the theme of what you're doing I do video games and Pain seems to work because well, the theme of pain is really present in Fear 3, Alma, the contractions and everything that cause trouble, and, and the sort of family that's between Fettel, Pointman, and Alma. So I thought, oh, the pain really worked to fit the darker atmosphere of the game. So I import the song in Sony Vegas, and I plop it down on the second track there. Next, what I do is I go to text, and I pick a simple text. So what I type here is three days grace pain. That's a bit too big right now, so what I normally do is I just drag that and set it down to about twenty-four or so. Sometimes a little bigger, sometimes a little smaller. And I plop it down in the corner of the video. And I fade it in and I fade it out. Pain so it kind of elegantly fades in with the video. So basically you're seeing everything I've done so far. So let's open up back what I've currently got. Now, if you look down here on the project, you'll see there's a lot of splits in the video. And basically what I did to do that was whenever there's a cue in the music, I basically hit the S key on the keyboard. And when I hear that cue, uh, it basically splits the footage, and basically I insert another piece of footage in place so it goes rhythmically with the song. So I would, for example, right now, watch. Okay, so basically I just did it into the beat of the drums there. As you can see, there's a whole new row of splits. And basically what I do with those splits is either I add an effect or I insert a new piece of footage. And basically that goes in cue with the music. So in the end, oh, 
hopefully we'll get something like the Metroid video. If not, then I know I've done a bad job. And you gotta be careful that your footage doesn't fade into something you don't want. So, as I'm trying to go with the theme of pain, I start out instantly with all my screaming from the live action trailer. And as you can see on my text there, I've added this little effect, little red effect, symbolized blood with the little TV effect. It's really simple, a lot of people know how to do that. We'll say that for another day, maybe. So basically, I don't do it on all the beats you'll notice here. Pain. It swaps every time there's a big hit in the audio, and you can see that reflected down here on the audio. Every time, just about where there's a nice big leap in it, there's a split art. Pain without so it just swaps pain. over. And I chose to go between the three characters of Alma, uh, Point Man, and Fettel. I never show their faces as I want to save that for another big leap in the music that comes later in the song. And then I show the child in um, uh, the video. As you can see there, it's kind of a fourth way to film with some footage. The next bit I'll generally fill with another small bit, hey, though I haven't decided on that right now. Basically, that's really all there is to it for my music videos. I generally just split when there's a good beat to it. I mean, it really depends on who's making it. So, for effects, since this is a dark or a moody thing, what I'll generally do is I'll scroll down to light rays. So, what I'll generally do is I'll just take one. As you can see, it's kind of bright, so... I'll just take the strength down all the way. I'll increase the feathering. Take the radius down. Or up just a little bit. I don't want to go too much. About there seems good. And I just leave it like that. Let's say this is that. Something random. And uh, there. So now basically I've got sort of Closes in and it gets you know, wondering what's going on. You, got, you always gotta have kind of a storyline to these music videos. It really helps with the overall mood and everything. And this is something I learned from all that early stuff that I did last summer. Or whenever you're watching this video, I don't know. So it could be several summers ago by the time you see this. So basically, what you can see is it fits sort of a darker mood to have that. So I'll probably just like go back to, especially the fettle one here. I'll add it to the fettle one since it's a little bright add it to the picture point man here and it gets the viewer wondering a little bit it helps to fit the darker atmosphere of the footage I generally I'll go in order with the footage and generally you want to have uh, a good bit of footage to do even a short video otherwise you're gonna run out and you're gonna end up repeating the footage but with the Fear 3 stuff, there's enough footage right now that I'm not having a problem with it. So, let's do a bit of editing here. Now, generally it can take me a bit of time, so... Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so this is a nice little clip of Fettel here. Pain, like it rough, cause I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. Okay, it's cool. I got kind of my slower little bit there. Basically what we're going to do with all this, we're just going to delete it. We're going to just drop our footage down where the other stuff was. Now, these music videos take me several hours sometimes if I do it in one sitting, so... Generally I work on these over a couple days. So what we need are... So I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm just going to cut... Some stuff. Let's undo that. Okay, so we're going to just take a couple short really big moments from one of these pieces. So I'm going with this right here. Delete for a little black piece. Delete again. That is right there. Basically, we got it in beat. We got sort of black going. And there we 
go. That's how I generally do my music videos. You just keep hitting the beats with effects and, or splitting footage, merging footage, whatever, until you got it. Yeah, you gotta make sure you do it just right, but once you have it, you have it. Make sure your effects match whatever you're trying to do, the music and everything has to be perfectly in sync. But if you get it, you get it. It's simple as that. Uh, this has been Xbox Kid with a music video tutorial, and I hope this helps.